This is Rao Talk. Welcome to Rao Talk Podcast. My name is Akshay Rao, and today my guest is Davis Lee. He's my longtime friend who works out regularly and takes an interest in general fitness. In this episode, we talk about uh, workouts, fitness goals, and the effect of coffee on workouts. Uh, because I'm going to the gym, you know, the trainer told me, oh, you're going to have to start eating more. So what I do stupidly is I just eat more and then I get stomach problems because I'm not eating properly. I'm just like stuffing more food in, at every meal. Mm-hmm. But what I found works better is, uh, I mean, I'm still working on it, but I'm trying to figure out like when is the best time to eat a rice heavy meal and when is the best time to eat a protein heavy meal because mixing everything never really works for me it just gives me stomach problems but okay. right now all i'm doing is lunch is more of uh like carbs heavy usually curry rice uh, vegetables potatoes sweet potatoes all that kind of stuff and uh dinner today was three um three pan fried eggs and toast so we'll see how i feel tomorrow yeah that's that's something i i noticed like with more intense drag mode practices like for dry land or on water it's like i can't really eat anything super heavy um like within four hours or so of the workout otherwise i just be like my, my stomach would be churning so similarly to you like i have um you know, some nuts or some apples or like like fruits or something like that um within that four hour period before the the actual like the, the more intense drag mode workout um if it's like a jog or cycle swim anything else that i do by myself like generally uh i can pace myself better but um you'll probably find that your your baseline comfort level will change. Like you may be able to support uh, bigger meals um, closer to your workout. And that that might work, that might be better for your scheduling overall. Cause it's tough to like always, you know, have the bigger meals in the earlier portions of the day if you're working on the evening or something like that. Yeah. I don't know about you, but whenever I plan out runs, I make sure I can have access to a bathroom nearby. <laughs> I gotta be ready. Yeah, and you gotta you gotta be prepared. Yeah. I'm, um, or, or for me, I, I don't actually, uh, I, don't, I don't know if you're joking or not, but I, uh, it, it just makes me run faster <laughs> or, Oh yeah, for sure. It does. But the, like the fear of not holding it in, it's just, it's, I don't want that in my runs, you know? I mean, you know, professional, professional runners, like the ultra marathoners and stuff like that, they, they poop and pee when they run too. They, they, you know, that, that's a, that's a oh. sign of honor, actually, in, in some communities. The poop while you uh, run. I know, but for me, if I have that <laughs> feeling, it's uh, it's not solid coming out. That's that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, it's not solid for them either. Uh, I'm not sure if you've seen some photos, but it's uh, some pretty gnarly stuff. But hey, they, I mean, they can run faster than us. <laughs> so I will whatever. do what I can so that doesn't happen to me, if and when that's inevitable i mean you know you deal with it then but for now i'm not going to try to go out of my way just to make that happen so what's uh what's your run programming like these days so right now it's just once a week so before i started the training i would go two or three times a week one or two kilometers just just to keep in touch with running um but now i'm gonna start once a week so usually the training's like in the during the weekdays maybe tuesday thursday or monday wednesday or something like that mm-hmm. so after the last day of being in the gym i'll i'll give a day and uh, maybe i'll go the day after that so i don't know i'm just feeling it out uh, i the last run i had was 3k it was more of a jog but it felt good um i'm just gonna see kind of how it how it comes along plus we're going into winter so i don't really want to work on pacing during the winter because i'm not sure i could uh i don't want to get hurt 
and I want to have a good, comfortable warm up routine before I try to go hard in the winter outside. So yeah, I don't really know. I don't really have a plan. Maybe I'm going to try running once a week. So if I'm going to the gym three times a week and running once, maybe up to twice a week. Yeah, that sounds like a, a fair program without like, you know, overdoing it, right? Just try and build up, uh, build up a stronger baseline for the endurance and then see what happens from there. Yeah. I mean, what's your routine these days in a week? Um, what are you doing? Uh, it's, it's a lot tapered back than what I was doing before. Like now it's like two virtual practices with the, the dragon boat team. And then, uh, so for those, it's like one cardio, one strength. Then there's like two, uh, like calisthenics based workouts that I do. Um, I try to do one session of yoga and then like one jog. So it's only like six workouts per week nowadays. It's tough. I, I found that it's getting like a bit tougher to, to motivate. Maybe it's because the, um, the weather's changing and it's not uh, also being in Mississauga now, it's not as, I guess, fun looking outside. I don't know. It was, it's nice to be downtown close to the water, I guess. So I've heard uh, coffee helps uh, recovery in some sense after workouts, uh, or at least like the pain. Is that true? Do you, I mean, do you feel that when you work out and drink coffee? I feel like it, um, maybe, maybe my baseline intake of caffeine has uh, disabled that trait, but I think it has helped in the past. Um, I used to, I used to just, I used to not really drink coffee except for special occasions, like when I needed to perform well, um, physically. So I did notice, uh, that helped taking caffeine when I was, um, not taking caffeine regularly helped a lot. Um, taking caffeine now when I regularly take it doesn't really do too much. It's just more of like a, like a comfort thing uh, at the moment. Mm, okay. That's interesting. Yeah. But yeah. I, 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 I feel like it helps, but, but I never know if I'm just imagining it or if it's the effect of the caffeine that you just feel better, you know? Yeah, no, I think, I think if you look up um, at the very least for delayed onset muscle soreness, I'm pretty sure there have been some studies done on that, like those, oh, um, I'm pretty sure there have been some studies that have correlated like less DOMS intensity with more caffeine intake. Mm. Okay. So at least in terms of like anaerobic exercises, that that does help. Yeah, hmm. that's interesting. It also helps with muscular performance too. Like you know, it, caffeine's a, a a primary ingredient um, in like pre workout consumable. So it's just like you have this like uh, powder that you add to water and then you just drink that and it's supposed to energize you before you work out and it has a little bit of sugars and some amino acids but like the thing that really gets you going really is like the caffeine that's in the pre-workout that was my friend davis lee it was a great chat and i hope to have him back on the pod in the future thanks for listening to another episode of Rao talk podcast <laughs>